This time I thought uh, I made some hardware upgrades in my home NAS uh, and I thought that I uh, talk a little bit about that. Is it worth for every home? So what I actually done, uh, I already had a 10 gigabit speed network card and I just received a 10 gigabit switch. Uh, and also I upgraded all my home network to 2.5 gigabits because I have uh, suitable cables for that. Uh, for that speed I don't need to change any cables. Uh, and 10 gigabit speed I use between NAS and my video editing computer, Max Studio. Uh, so uh, I will show you a little bit uh, um, overview of the hardware, uh, the speeds and uh, the connection between my uh, 10 gigabit NAS through my local network to the computer to the MacBook Pro connected to uh, through the external network card to a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet in another room. So the main question is it worth it? Uh, investment uh, did we get uh, did we get the uh, speeds we want to get from that type of network uh, so yeah so this is it uh, let's continue all right so this is my setup you see it already a few times but things are changing here all the time so as i mentioned before this is uh, hp proliant micro server uh, I already bought a 10 gigabit card for it, it's here, uh, and one cable, you see two green lights, so there is a 10 gigabit uh, Ethernet connection, one cable is connected to the new switch, uh, yeah, uh, as, as you see it's a QNAP switch, uh, it's, it's quite interesting configuration, and actually in the market uh, I found that this is the only option for me, uh, the only suitable option, because uh, actually I need a really uh, high speeds, high speed connection between my NAS uh, and uh, Mac Studio. So this port goes to the NAS and this port goes to Mac Studio. And uh, these two connections, this is for my NAS monitoring uh, connection, so it's one gigabit only. And uh, this is a 2.5 gigabit connection, this is the uplink to, to the internet. Uh, so this configuration is pretty rare on the switches. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, actually this QNAP switch was the best option uh, I managed to find and it's pretty cheap so yeah so everything works uh, so far perfectly and now we can start uh, a real testing and to see uh, does this investment into this uh, uh, hardware pays off so let's try to copy a 50 gigabytes file from my micro server to the Mac Studio over a 10 gigabit Ethernet and let's see what speeds could we get from the uh, my documents uh, pool which is two Western Digital Mirror Drives. So let's start it. Yeah, so file transfer just started and you can see the speed is uh, uh, around 250 megabytes per second. So the file transfer will take about 3 minutes and we could see how the fast file system works on the file server and how this uh, file server uh, memory is pre-cached with the file we are transferring. So let's go to the to NAS server console and here is uh, uh, this part of a circle is the ZFS cache. So as you can see the uh, what server is doing now it is copying the file to the memory and then from the memory it is transferred over the Ethernet card to the Mac Studio. So uh, to see the full 10 gigabit speed 
uh, we need to do a first copy, the file will be pre-cached and next time uh, when a second copy will be from the memory directly over the Ethernet to the another computer, in my case Mac Studio. So let's go back. Uh, let's see how a copy is going on. So the speed is uh, pretty the same. Uh, this is the usual speed when you have 2.5 uh, gigabit Ethernet. So in case you don't have a lot of memory cache uh, for this particular setup uh, between the hard drives and the remote computers on, in your home, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet is more than enough. Uh, but if you are, if you want to edit a video directly from the NAS server, it could be very useful because you will be working with the same files for a prolonged period of time, and these files will be cached to the ZFS memory. And uh, the more memory you have, uh, the, the more files will be, will be cached to it, and then you will be editing. Uh, uh, these files uh, directly from the memory so the speed will be amazing as with the NVMe, NVMe drives and you, you still have you still have the ZFS file system uh, data security so these are the two pluses uh, in one place and it's uh, this is the biggest benefits from the ZFS file system so yeah so as we as we see the transferring is going to the end, file transfer is going to the end, so uh, let's wait for that last minute uh, while the file is copying. Uh, let's see how ZFS cache is looking like, so uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, going up uh, and it's almost, uh, almost full RAM is cached. Uh, and uh, yeah, so next transfer should be uh, in the full size, which uh, could give us our 10 gigabit network card. Yeah, so file transfer is finished. Let's delete the file. All right, and let's do. Uh, so the first copy was about three minutes. So let's try uh, second time. And here we go, as you can see, we have uh, 1.5 gigabytes uh, per second speed. Uh, so it's four times, it's even, uh, yeah, it's close to five times faster. And uh, it's amazing when you see how fast uh, this file is copied. It's less than a minute, but you can see file is huge and speed is just lightning fast. So. This is the benefits of 10 gigabits uh, Ethernet speed and it's, I think for video editing, it's the must, it's absolute must. So that was amazing. Yeah, so that's it on the transfer through the NAS uh, to the QNAP switch and to the Mac Studio. And let's see how the same file, uh, how will be the speed of the same file transfer through a NAS, uh, through a QNAP uh, 10 gigabit port to a 2.5 gigabit port over the Netgear switch, which with speed is 2.5 gigabits to a laptop which has a MacBook Pro with M1 processor which has external Lindy 2.5 gigabit uh, Ethernet card. This is my another workbench in the living room. Uh, this is my work computer uh, connected to the Ethernet via USB network card. Uh, I already was talking about it. It's a high quality Lindy USB network card which has Realtek chipset on it and it gives this uh, laptop 2.5 uh, gigabit uh, speed uh, over Ethernet. Uh, so we will try to connect to my NAS, which has 10 gigabit connection uh, to the QNAP switch. And QNAP switch has 2.5 gigabit connection through the Netgear switch to this computer in another room. And uh, we will see what speeds we will have here. I just connected to my remote laptop uh, in another room 
and let's do the same experiment. Uh, let's copy file from my NAS uh, to the, this laptop. Yes, so file transfer just started and it's completely amazing. The file transfer is close to 2.5 uh, gigabits network maximum. So the file is copied now from the NAS SFS file system memory uh, from the cache uh, uh, through the network directly to my uh, MacBook Pro in another room and you can see that it's really really fast. So what, what can I say? Uh, both types of networks uh, are useful in the home situation so 10 gigabit network usually useful and it's maybe only two ports is enough just to have a direct very speedy connection from the NAS to the video editing computer in my case it's Mac Studio and for other devices which most of them has uh, one gigabit Ethernet connection and some of them can afford 2.5 without changing any cabling. Uh, the cabling in my, in my flat is old, uh, it's like uh, 7 years old and I think it's uh, five, CAT 5E or even lower and still I can triple the speed of 1 gigabit Ethernet on the same cabling with minimum investment. So as you can see well, the trans file transfer is very stable it's at the maximum, there's almost uh, no investment was in that, so only the additional USB network card for my uh, MacBook Pro. And that's it. Uh, I think I, on, on this uh, speed of file transfer, I think I can even directly edit uh, video from my, from my MacBook Pro. Uh, connected to the NAS, so the files uh, uh, are stored on the NAS, not on the flash, flash storage on the MacBook and I think I easily could do editing on the speed. So yeah, this setup completely suits my needs. I think it uh, suits the needs of most home users and I highly recommend to do this kind of setup at your home and uh, reap the benefits of these new and fast networks. So this is it, that's all I wanted to show you this time. Thank you for being with me and till the next time, see you, goodbye.